Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the service so far. Next up, we've got Anna Ayong and the rest of the Blaze sharing thoughts from Psalm 130. Um, I think verse 7 probably stands out the most. The fact that you get like, the Lord's unfailing love and with him is full redemption. I think that's quite a powerful thing that he has like this like unconditional love and will forgive us of anything even like even if we can't forgive other people it's like he'll forgive us i think um um verse three like lord if you kept a record of our sins just shows that god um god never counts um our sins he just forgives us and he never he never um like he never say oh this person is better than this person he doesn't compare us and and one and once it is done it's for is is he's forgiven but there's punishment it is in it but still he loves us but when it comes to us as human beings we find it hard to um to you know forget it because before we forgive someone we're going to keep going through it before we forget and sometimes we might go into fightings or issues or doing things that we're supposed to not be doing just instead of calling for help we just take matters into our hands but god is slow to anger and he forgives us so that's why i love verse um verse three so verse one it says when in my it says from the depths of despair O lord i call for your help um and so i've went on um to a dictionary and i and i looked up the word despair that's the complete loss of hope and i just saw like this is exactly when like we need god the most um mm. even like like when we're when we're like lost so much hope like even if we feel like no one can help us like that's not true like the lord can help us and he can so I was just thinking like that was like exactly when we need him the most. Um, and then in verse five, I I kind of thought that where it says um, in his word, I put my hope. I feel like because the Lord's word in the Bible is is the absolute truth, I felt um, that we need to put our hope in his word because it, it, it's like it's there for us and it's there's no lies about it and I feel like we should put our trust in that hope now as well and in that word now because um, at this time there's still that feeling of uncertainty so I feel like now we should be really focusing on the word of the Lord as um, as we still don't really know what's going to be happening as well and then hello, hello. Jonathan. happy, happy birthday. birthday we hope that you have a wonderful birthday on Friday with your family yeah, we just wanted to say a happy birthday on behalf of the whole Ablaze team. And we want to share with you Proverbs 16.3, which says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. And we know that this is definitely going to happen in your exams, and we wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.